Hi everyone, my name is Warda and welcome to this low impact class. Now today we're going to be working with a set of dumbbells. Remember with these low impact classes there are no cardio um, movements, there is no high impact movements, no plyometrics. So this is the perfect workout for you if you're just easing your way into exercise or if you're trying to get back your fitness perhaps after having COVID or being sick for a long time. Whatever your reasons, we're going to get through this workout. It's a full body workout. It's still going to challenge you and get you stronger and fitter. Right, we're going to start with a warm-up. All we're going to do is squat all the way down and come up. Squat down and up. So your feet are hip distance apart. You're going to sit back as if you're sitting on a small chair. Keep the chest up and come up. As you come up, you squeeze the bum. If you tend to lean forward when you squat, put your arms out in front of you. This is going to keep your back up and squat all the way down. Come up, squeeze the bum. Right, let's do a few more. And four, three, two, one. Right, nicely done. Right from here, take your hands behind your back, or behind your head rather. You're gonna take your feet a little bit wider apart. You're gonna sit down into your squat, a sumo squat. And you're gonna take your, your elbows side to side. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! That burns the legs, wakes up those obliques. We're gonna reach up and over now, feeling even more of a stretch into the side body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, rolling out the shoulders back, rolling them forward, rolling the head around in one direction, and then in the opposite direction. Right, getting ready for your workout. One more exercise before we start this workout. Taking these out of the way. We're going to do some forward lunges, alternating sides. You can put your hands on your hips. Or again, if you tend to lean forward, you're going to take your arms out in front of you. Step forward, drop the knee down. Forward, drop. Forward, drop. Last one on each side. And that's it. You should be nice and warm now. So how this is going to work. We're going to use these dumbbells to just intensify this workout just a little bit. So we're going to do four circuits. Ten reps per exercise. Repeating each circuit twice. Final circuit is always your ab round. We're going to work the core, and the core is not just this, ex this area here, yes, here are your abs, but we're going to work the entire core. The core is this entire thick band, imagine you're wearing a thick belt, and it's this entire area over here. So we're going to work that entire area in that final round. Right, so you're going to grab your dumbbells. First exercise, all you're going to do is just reverse lunge. So, step back, drop the knee down, right? Here we're going to go for 10 reps. In three, two, one, step it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, holding those dumbbells, doing a full hammer curl, so we're not turning our hands out like this, palms up, we're keeping them on the side of us, and we're going to take it straight up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, from here, you're going to put these weights on your shoulders, squat down, press up, squat press, ten reps. Here we go, feet are hip distance apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, from here, final one, we're going to combine the bicep curl straight into a press for that final exercise in this round. Here we go. One, two, hammer curl press, hammer, press, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that was amazing work. You've got about 30 seconds to just recover. We're repeating that circle. So now you know what's coming. I want you to really perfect that form if your form wasn't correct. Try and do it exactly the way I do it. And if you are already doing that, that's amazing. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, if you have a heavier set of weight, try it with a heavier set. Who knows, you might have already gotten stronger and you didn't know it. So always try to push the boundaries. Do a little bit more, push a little harder. Here we go, new round. Reverse lunges in three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hammer curls, straight into it. One, two, try not to swing your arms, lift the weight up. Three, four, straighten it all the way down, full range of motion. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weight on your shoulders, squat press, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, final one in this round, hammer curl press. One, two, three, four, five, six, starting to feel it in the shoulders, seven, eight, nine, last one. Okay, nicely done. Right, put those weights down for the moment. Catch your breath, 30 seconds. To catch your breath, grab a sip of water. Maybe you've already broken a sweat. Wipe the sweat off your brow. You've got about just under 30 seconds to recover. And then we're getting into our second circuit. First circuit, done and dusted. Three left. For the next one, we're gonna just use one weight. I'm gonna show you while you're resting what we are going to do. You're gonna stand on one side of your mat. You're gonna lunge to the side, 
side lunge, upright row. So here we go in three, two, one. Side lunge, keep that leg straight. Upright row, one. Drop into that leg. Don't drop your chest forward. Don't keep your bum up. Drop low, keep your chest up. That's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, taking this weight overhead, just the one side, you're going to go into an overhead tricep. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If it's burning, it's working. Nine, ten. Right, other side. Take that one weight. Standing on the other side of the mat now. Side lunge, upright row. That's one rip. Side, up, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead tricep, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful stuff. Take a breather. We've got just under 30 seconds to recover. And then we're going to start that circuit again. Now you know what's coming. Perfecting the form. Think about dropping that bum a little bit more in that side lunge. Keeping the chest up. Contracting the abs. Every exercise should be a core exercise. We're always engaging the core. Here we go. In three, two, one. Side lunge, upright row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Right, overhead triceps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. Change hands, feet together, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one on the side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Got a little bit of a breather. 30 seconds, and then we're going to get going again. Right, from here, you're going to give me a bent over row. So, you're going to... Bend over, stick the bum out, roll the shoulders back. Nice flat back. I don't want to see this. If I were there, I wouldn't want to see this. You're going to stick your chest out, stick your bum out, squeeze into your back. Keep your elbows close to your body. This exercise works into your back. Right? Here we go. In three, two, and one. Stick the bum out, stick the chest out. Here we go. Tuck the elbows in. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Side raise into a front raise. Here we go. So one and one is one rep. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Coming onto your back now. You're gonna put these weights, if you do have heavier, I invite you to use heavier. Keep the weights on your hips. You're gonna give me hip thrusters. All the way up, working into those glutes. Squeeze the bum at the top. Here we go, one, two, and three. One, squeeze the bum. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful stuff. Stay here. You're going to give me a chest press. So keep the hips elevated. Now we're keeping the core engaged, keeping the glutes engaged. We'll be working upper and lower body. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the hips up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely stuff. That is the end of that round, the third round. We're going to take a breather, and then we are going to carry on. We're going to repeat that circuit rather. Stand up. Starting from the top, from those bent over rows in ten seconds. Stick the bum out, stick the chest out. Here we go. In three, two, one. Flat back, squeeze the elbows close to the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Front raise into side raise. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Right, coming onto your back, hip thrusters now. Rest those weights on your hips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, staying with those hips up. Keep them up in the air. Last. An exercise in the circuit, the third and second last circuit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Right, put your weight to the side. We are approaching or we are at our final circuit. This is our ab round. You've got just under 30 seconds left of your entire workout. Well, sorry, <laughs> just 30 seconds left of your rest. And then you've got just a few minutes of your entire workout left. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into slow bicycle. Very slow. I want you to kick this leg all the way up. Bring the opposite elbows to knee. 
Right, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Slow it down. Three. You can always rush um, bicycles and they're not as effective. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, the next one you can do with or without a weight. I'm going to show you the option to do with a weight. You're going to keep your feet up. Reach that weight up to your feet. Ten reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Beautiful stuff. Opposite hand to foot. If you cannot reach all the way up like this you can bring elbow to knee and go back down so there's an option for everyone here we go right hand to left foot let's go first rep one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well done that is your third well your second last exercise third one in the circuit last one we're going to change our position slightly coming into a plank on elbows remember your elbow is directly under your shoulder so it's not too far forward not too far back it's helping you keep your weight up so common mistake with the plank is people tend to look back your hips lift and you're not actually in a plank so try to look down or look forward here we go one two dip the hips three four five six seven eight nine ten right take a breather just a few minutes and then we're going to get back into that first exercise, taking it from the top. This is it. This is final four exercises of your entire workout. Right, 15 seconds, then we're going. Bicycle first. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely stuff. You're going to do the next one with or without a weight. Reaching either the weight up or just your hands up. The weight just adds a little bit more of a challenge. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, starting to feel it in the abs. If it's burning, if you're doing it right, learn to love that burn. Right, arms and legs out in either direction. Opposite hand to opposite foot. So we're going to take our right hand, bring it to that right toe. If you're not touching toes, you're touching elbows to knees. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Final exercise. You're going to turn around. Getting into your plank. We're going to do those plank dips. You're dipping your hips side to side, up and over. Right, this is it. Then you're done with your workout. In three, two, one. Look forward, don't look at your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everyone. That is your low impact workout. Come to lie down on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. 
thank your body for what it's just done. You're going to straighten out that left leg, taking your right leg across the body. Now bringing that right leg back, straighten the right leg, left leg goes up, into your chest, nice tight hug, take it across your body. Right, legs out straight in front of you. You're going to take a deep breath in as you come up. Exhale as you reach for toes, knees, or shins with a flat back. Deep breath. Bring the soles of the feet together into a butterfly pose. Bring it as close to your groin as possible. Grab your toes slightly. Lift them, nice tall spine, chin goes to chest. You'll feel a stretch into your groin, inner thigh. Right, from here, you're going to kneel. Take that left leg forward first. Push into the right hip flexor. Same arm as back leg, so right arm comes across the body. Palm to ceiling, relax the shoulder away from your chin. Take that same arm behind you into a tricep stretch. And change sides. Right leg forward, left arm across the body, palm to ceiling, relax the shoulder away from your chin. And take that same arm behind you, push the hips forward. And release. Step your feet together. Forward fold, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. One last time. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me for this low impact class. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon.